Hello guys, it's Don't Chew and Chewy here, and this is part two, and probably the penultimate part of the tutorial on the clock tower. So basically this time we're going to add a bit of detail here, we're going to do the clock face, and we're going to finish off the kind of mushroom cat roof. So without further ado, I'm going to quickly slash set time set zero, and we're going to crack on with this build. So... First bit, probably the most important bit, is the clock face. But I would recommend doing that last, actually, because it's a lot easier to do the roof first. If you're in creative, you can do this any way you want, but I'm going to do it this way. So what you want to do is you want to put stairs like this, and all these wood blocks that we placed in the previous episode, or part, as I'm going to call them. And then build up. So we're going to have one stair and then we're going to have a block and a stair and then we're going to have again a block and a stair and that's basically the pattern for our roof. So like this and this. Um, the only thing I don't like about building most of the time is when you've got a roof you like it, you like the shape of it, and then you've got to fill it in um, like this. You've got to copy it to four sides. A bit tedious, but if you didn't, if you only had one side, it would just look absolutely stupid. So the end product will be worth it. Uh, this roof is actually a bit different. Um, I don't think I've ever done a roof like this on any of my tutorials or my let's builds um, it's gonna be for peach roof which I did on my very first video the windmill let's build however it's gonna be kind of mushroom capped is the best word I can think to describe it so a bit different but I think it still looks good so once you've done this I'll just have you let you have a quick look at the roof shape so you want that on all sides. So after this, we're going to take a block of choice for what we want the inner part of the roof to be. Again, you can always switch blocks out. Um, sorry if I keep mentioning that, but just in case, you don't have to completely copy me. Do whatever you want. So we're going to take our spruce wood, and we're basically just going to go on all the stairs and just put two blocks and basically just cover it up. So like this, all the way around on all your stairs and your blocks below. So don't put it on these upside down stairs basically. That's the only block you don't want to be putting it on. So we get two like this and then we're gonna come in two come in again come in come in again two come in again two come in again two. So basically just kind of the rule you could say for this roof is just two, you know Every block, two. So two there, two there, two here, and you know, just copy this all the way around until you get to a point we can't really do two anymore, which is going to be very soon. Get rid of those blocks. Which is actually going to be right now. Um, I'm going to think we'll peak it later, so we'll just build up to here. You can peak it now. Again, if you're going to peak it, and you know what? May as well peak it now. You just want to go to <laughs> like that. So don't look again. Don't look much now, but well, big holes in the roof. Also, we're gonna put some little hair slabs and stuff like that on it and stairs to make it look a bit better. So let's crack on with that. So upside down stair, stair. Copy this to all sides. So upside down stair on your already existing stairs, and then normal stair just like commit that now let's finish this bad boy off so you're going to go like this stir this stir basically the rule for this one is just block stir so do it on this side as well and so you just put a block behind your first stir and then you just copy the pattern oh all the way up like so 
wrong way around the And I just want to quickly say, um, hello new subscribers. Um, last week, uh, five new subscribers joined, joined the Wookiee clan, as I may, may start calling it. Probably won't, but calling it that for now. So, yeah, welcome and thanks for subscribing. Um, and a lot more comments recently. It's really, really cool to see new comments. It's very, very cool. And just thank you guys for commenting and being... Freaking awesome. So that wasn't actually our peak there. Our peak's going to be here. Like that. So now we haven't got any holes in it. But in my opinion, it's still looking a bit bland. Let's go down. Let's have a quick look from down below. So let's go on this bush here. Anyway, it looks okay. There's no clocked face yet. That is a bit of a problem. But let's add some half slabs. So you're going to basically want to half slab every block on the roof. Apart from these blocks on the side here. I don't like doing them. I've just got something against them, I don't know. But I don't I don't I don't do them. Again, you do it if you want. Totally up to you. Just gonna hustle up all the way down here like this. Fly around here, final side. And like this. And if you do have kind of like if you ever think like, oh I don't like that or you can think of a way that I can improve my videos and anything like that, just tell me in the comments below um, you know, if it's something that I have to buy, so, you know, my mic could be a bit better, you know, that will have to take time, so don't expect, like, immediate results and things like that, but if you don't like anything in a build I've done, let's place a slab on top here as well, oh yeah, if you don't like anything I've done in a build, you know, feel free to make your opinions in the comments below, that's what it's there for, if you don't like something, just let me know, and I'll try and fix that. Um, so we're actually on the clock face already, so that's our roof done. So for the clock face shape, I'm going to quickly do it and then show it to you guys. Oops. Um, so that's our shape, so it's free, 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 like that. I'm going to fill this gap in very nicely. And I'm going to do this on all sides really quickly. And bit of news, bit of, bit of good news, my new computer is finally ready. Um, not recording on it today, but yeah, it's in, it, it's ready. I just need to set all my, my recording software up, um, just loads of programs that need to go on it. Um, it's just basically, just need to sort it out, need to get some speakers for it. Um, if you're not aware, the actual way I record my sound, I just actually play it through a speaker because for some reason, um, my recording stuff, I just will not, and I mean will not pick up um, any sound from my headset. You just won't do it. And I've tried and I've tried and it's just like, nope, not picking it up. I am not picking it up. It's, um, it's like, okay, whatever, then I'll just have to do it from a speaker. Luckily, I've got pretty good speakers, so it's not too bad, I don't think. Don't have to place these blocks here in the corner. I'm just doing it because we're going to do this. So we're on the final bit. Now we're going to fill these holes in. So stair here, stair here. Block, 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 block. So covering these stairs up here. Don't cover this one up. And stair, stair. We actually want to quickly fly in here. Grab our cobble. Just place that there so I can pick it back up in a sec. We're just going to want to place a ring. Oh, where did I just place that? Did it? What? That's why I have some cobblestone. I'll fly out and I'll see it's just going to be like hanging off the building or something. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to place a ring of cobblestone there because let me fly back around to the side I started on. Because otherwise it's going to look really weird here. Basically. Now what I do here is I do that and that that half slab. And it just gives that half slab just gives it a bit of texture so it's not all stone brick. It's not all one material and obviously you could just even place that there 
give it even more detail, but it stands out a bit too much for my liking, so I'm not going to do that. But that's your basic design, so I'm going to copy it to our... Did I do that? Okay. Um, okay, we'll just ignore that, a ghost block or something. So in that shape, and then fly up. And we want to well, place it like this. Stir. Ah, oh, slab. Um, I've just been watching a Lemon La Vida Loca. Oh, did I put the stairs there? Oh no. I've been watching Lemon La Vida Loca. I didn't know it was back on. I, I like the first series. And i got to say, Keith Lemon. He's, he's so funny. I, I'm pretty sure most of it's set up. Um, it's a bit of spoil here, so if you are watching the series and you haven't watched the latest episode yet, then quickly just turn this down, turn it down for about about 20 seconds. Uh, I was watching this, the latest episode, and he, he just goes and gets married, just for some random, I, don't, I just don't get it. Like he goes to Vegas and he just meets this girl, I can't remember her name, um, what was it? Tara Reid, I think she's from American Pie, I haven't watched it, so I'm not 100% sure. You know, he gets married to her, he really likes her, and he ditches her. I don't know if it's all set up. It's just really funny. I, I definitely recommend checking it out, if you haven't done so already. Very, very funny. Good for a laugh. So, anyway, coming back to the build, we're going to add the detail that I said, talked about last episode here. So, one, two, three. Stone, or in my, if you're in creative, this block, and then half slab. Yeah, but it's just so funny. That's probably not in the funniest part. There's this really, really good part, but I don't want to spoil it because if you do watch it, that you probably unmuted the video now, so I won't say it anymore. Definitely check it out. So we have these kind of like pit, like I don't know, gondolas. Why? Why am I thinking that? I don't know. Weird. But okay. On these sides, we're gonna go to this block here. So your special block. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it from now on. And you're going to place your stairs facing out. And are you kidding me? Come on. Bastard. Come on. Any, anytime you want to stop, you know, that, that's that's cool with me. Yeah. I love the rain. Right, it's gone. So let's carry on. So we're going to go down three again on the stairs. All the way around. Can use fences here. Or even blocks if you need to. I'm pretty sure Xbox players will have fences. Um, and I got asked, asked um, asked, um, yeah, I got asked a question. I got asked a question um, in the comments um, saying, "Do I watch Corralis? Do you even have to ask that?" Um, literally, Corralis is such a big inspiration, you know, I've had a few people call me Corralis copier, you know, and on my world, at first I did, but I don't see Corralis with a clock tower, so, what are you going to do, <laughs> you know, but, yeah, he's a big inspiration, I'm, and I'd never steal any of the things, I have a lot of respect for him, and he seems to be a really cool guy, you know, so... I'll never copy him in any of my tutorials or let's builds. I may have some features that he's put in, but I'll never copy a building. You know, like a whole build and just copy the whole thing. I'll never do that. And we're just going to quickly go and do the face now. I just really wanted to quickly get that out of the way, just to kind of um, clear it up a bit, more or less. A few people. I'll never copy him. Oh, no, sorry. Anyway, with, with that little oh, bit awkward subject out of the way, we're going to actually work on the clock face, and this block here is perfect for the centre block. But what I actually prefer to use is glowstone, because, and I'll show you at the end of the video, I'll set the time to night. Um, it just gives it a bit of light, you know. If you don't have these glowstones, I find it gets... A bit dark, and I forgot my buttons. Sorry about that. I find it gets a bit dark, and it just doesn't. We oh, yeah, put the floor in there, but 
just hiccup in there trying to be quiet because I just started to hiccup for some really annoying reason. Um, you don't have to put gold blocks here. I personally think they look the best. So there's our clock face. So if we come down here, let's have a look from a bit further away. <sighs> Break my legs. So, and it just gives it even more texture, you know, more textures in there. And I'm going to copy it on this side as well. I am going to show you a survival friendly one because you probably don't want to be using this many gold blocks on um create uh, no, not create on survival because gold come on pretty expensive material um this is another way you can do it i'm gonna i won't break that side because that's the side i shall take the screenshot for we're gonna place clay here and now you might be thinking clay come on you know he's serious sounds like sand it's all squidgy um <laughs> But if we just come out here, let's just go and stand on this tree up here. It adds summer. I don't know. I I use this in when I build it in survival. And when you're down at a level, so let's go down here. It gives a slight texture change. It might not look as good in default. I'm not sure. Just get another kind of white block, maybe snow or summer. It just gives a slight change of texture, and I actually really like it. I'm always torn between both. Either using the gold block, the gold block's more striking and kind of in your face and looks good. But this is kind of a bit more subtle, but you can still tell that it's different, if you know what I mean. Weird to explain, but, you know. So I'm going to put it on this side as well. It's a bit more subtle, this. I'm going to swap it to gold blocks, but that's just actually... A, f a friendly, survival friendly way to do it. Hmm. Oops. Alright, and then the hand on the side. So let's put the buttons. See, you see what I mean? Literally, if you took one half of this and you had world edit and you copied and pasted it, you know, you'd be on. You'd be, you'd be golden. Alas, I do not have it. And I think that's the end. Um, one final thing you can do. I'm going to go and quick slash clear my inventory. Grab my fences and my torches. One thing you can do just for a bit of extra lighting is add a torch here. Or sometimes what I like to do is add a torch on the inside. So there's a couple of things for you. And to get up, you can just basically put a pillar here. Like so. Get some ladders, and then you put the clock face. You can put a floor in like here, like this. Leave a hole in the middle though, or you won't be able to get back down. Like that, you know. And then, yeah, up to the top, you can do maintenance work if you. The only thing I would like to have had is maybe have some like cogs up there, but it's just not big enough. So, ladders up there, and you're done. Um, so, yeah, this is basically it. This is the clock tower. This is medieval slash rustic clock tower. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And what I'll actually quickly do while I remember is change into the default text pack. And the major lag, that's why I didn't talk there, just in case something goes weird. And, uh, help, help, help. Help, I'm running away. I'm going to see you guys next time. That's so bad. Um, no, it's not that bad. I don't want to look at it. Uh, I'm going to see you guys next time. I'm going to hide behind this hill. I'm going to see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little mini series, I guess you could call it. If you did, remember to hit that like button. If you've got any ideas for my next tutorial slash let's build, always post them in the comments below. Can't remember if someone said this. I don't think someone said this. I think I just already had this one built. And I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And you'll never miss a video of mine. And I'll see you guys in a bit.